Hello and welcome to Computational Domain. My name is Adam and in this tutorial I will show you how to define a simulation of a propeller in OpenFOAM. The tutorial will be divided into two parts. In the first part I will go over the basic simulation setup from the GitLab page of OpenFOAM, which you can see on my screen. Uh, then in the second tutorial I will show you how to modify this uh, setup to include different geometry and boundary conditions. So uh, let's go ahead and copy this folder into our local machine. So uh, let's type cp r foam tutorials simple foam. Uh, Yes, yeah, sorry, uh, incompressible, then pimple foam. Incompressible pimple fo foam. Uh, RAS propeller. And let's call the new folder propeller. Okay, we can now open the generated folder. And as you can see, we have we have the files. Uh, first, let's go to the system. And what we are going to do, we are going to define a parallel run. So we have the decompose par dict in the system folders. So um, actually, let's open this file first. What I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to change the number of subdomains to two. Uh, if you have a four core CPU, you can uh, keep it as four. In, on my computer, it doesn't work for some reason. I'm not sure why. That's why I'm changing it to two. So the simulation is going to take a bit more time. Yes. Uh, so now uh, we are actually missing some files. We have to copy the geometry files. So let's type first. Let's go to the propeller folder and let's copy Okay, uh, and actually we have to keep the uh, the geometry files inside of the folder called try surface. Okay, and as you can see, we have copied the geometry files here, and actually this folder must be inside of constant folder and uh, yes let's discuss the files first um, so as you can see we have seven files we have a uh, propeller stem one two and three and these three objects they correspond to the propeller shaft which is divided into three parts uh, it's stationary, it's meaning it's not rot rotating, unlike the propeller. Uh, so yes, the propeller tip corresponds to the actual propeller, which is rotating. And then we have three cylinders. Um, so the outer, cil outer cylinder, when we block the mesh, we initially define it as a box. And then we uh, place the outer cylinder to remove the cells outside of that cylinder so that at the end we have a cylindrical domain. Then we have an inner cylinder which is uh, which has a diameter of which is a which has a radius uh, two times lower than the outer cylinder and uh, such that inside of that big computation big domain we have a smaller more refined domain near the propeller 
And lastly, we have the inner cylinder, which is the cylinder around the propeller. And we define the cylinder because we want to have a rotational domain. That's why it's necessary to have it. OK, uh, now that we have all the files necessary, we can block our mesh. Um, and now we can apply the surface features uh, feature extract. Uh, so what this will do, it it will uh, allow the snappy hex mesh to store some additional information about the refinement of the mesh. Uh, let me open the file. So we are going to specify this include angle, which will allow to, for a, uh, to have a higher refinement of the of the mesh. So as you can see at this on this image, uh, at the edge of the cylinder here there is a high angle, and uh, because of that the snappy hex mesh, it's difficult for snappy hex mesh to to uh, have a well-refined mesh around that edge. That's why we apply the include angle feature to keep the higher refinement, OK? So let's uh, press Enter. And now we can use the snappy hex mesh and dash overwrite. So the mesh is being refined now, and uh, this may take some time. That's why I'm going to pause the recording now and uh, return to you when it's finished. So the mesh refinement is done now. Uh, we still have to type a few more commands. Uh, first of all, we have to renumber mesh. And uh, also, we, have, we should uh, remove all the fields generated by the snappy hex mesh uh, by uh, rm-rf0. Uh, now we have to create the fields by uh, using the topo that dash dict. And then we have to refer to the file in our folder. So we go to system, create inlet, outlet um, sets that topo set dict Okay, um so Actually, what we're doing is we are referring to to this file, which generates the the face the faces of the cells based on uh, the patch outer cylinder. So it refines the the wall region, and then it splits it uh, into the the wall. The inlet and the outlet. Inlet and the outlet. Yeah. Um, okay, now uh, once we have that done, we can go ahead and create patch. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a little typo.
Uh, yes, so now we have also generated the cyclic um, cyclic domains, which is the interface region between the inner and outer wall of the uh, small of the small inner cylinder around the propeller. So it defines the connection between the rotating and stationary mesh. Um, so now we can copy our zero.org folder. And rename it as zero. So our initial initial conditions. And we can decompose par to split the domain into different regions, which we can then run in parallel. Okay, and uh, actually one thing which uh, I really want to mention before uh, before I run the simulation is that this simulation is it requires uh, a lot of space on the on the drive, so um, you you would need around uh, 15 gigabytes of memory. So just before you run it, be, make sure you have uh, have enough storage space on your computer such that uh, you don't encounter any problems. Uh, I'm actually running it on an external, external drive just to make sure I have enough space. So uh, now we can define a parallel run by typing mpi run dash np and uh, the number of subdomains, which uh, I defined as two, but you can define it as four depending on uh, the how hardware you have available. And then uh, pimple foam dash parallel. Oh, uh, yes, I actually have to spell it correctly. Okay, so the simulation has now finished. Um, what we have to do now before post-processing the results, uh, we have to reconstruct power.
Once this is done, we can now export the results to uh, ParaView. So we can type patch propeller that foam. And we can open the ParaView 